to another exciting episode of JCM Kids TV. Today we are talking about love. That's right, today is Valentine's Day. Now, the word Valentine is from a Latin word called Valentinius, and it means strong, vigorous, and healthy. Something that I'm sure we all need throughout this whole pandemic period. But today, we're gonna to be talking about love. Some people think that um, the original Valentine was a man who married a Christian couple. When Christianity first started, it wasn't accepted. People were killed for their faith. So to marry a Christian couple was a no-no and he got hurt for it. He got punished. And that's why some people say he is the patron saint of love. But today, we're talking about a different type of love. God's love, the love that he showed us when he gave us his son, Jesus Christ. Before we get into our lesson for the day, that was just a brief recap. Before we do that, let's say a quick prayer. Father, Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for the opportunity to be able to worship you and praise you and pray to you and have a relationship with you without any fear at all. Father Lord, as we start to learn about your love today, we ask that you be with us. We ask that you teach us. We ask that you give us a new revelation of you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Before we get into our lesson, who wants to get a little move on, get a little shake on? I do. Let's head over and see what CJ has for us today.
him we live, we move, and we have our being. So every move you make, it's in Jesus. I feel that because today we're celebrating God's love, we can't do that without singing about love. Let's have another one. loves us. I'm going to read a Bible verse to you right now. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. It says, for now there is faith, hope, and love. But of these three, the greatest is love. We're going to go over and have a little wee chat with Douglas, and he's going to talk us through about love. Listen carefully, we'll discuss it later. If you can only choose one, choose love. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And have you ever played that game, Desert Island? Basically, you just pretend that you're on a desert island and you can take one thing with you. If you could take one thing with you to a desert island, and a desert island is like an island with no food or water or shelter or anything on it. It's out in the middle of the ocean and nobody knows where you are. And the idea is if you could pick one thing, what's the most important thing that you would want to have on a desert island if you could only pick one thing? And we played this game with my friends and we were all coming up with what I thought were good ideas. You know, like food and water and shelter are all super important. So like I was thinking, I said that I would want to take a tent because I didn't want to get overexposed. You know, I don't want to burn up in the sun and I don't want to... I don't want to get rained on or anything like that. And I had another friend who said that he wanted a water filter so that he could drink the water. And I had another friend who said he wanted a gigantic, huge cheeseburger so he wouldn't starve. And, you know, these are all pretty good answers. But then my friend Isaac, and I, I think Isaac is maybe a genius for real. He's so smart. And he, he doesn't talk very much, but when he does, it's always super smart. And so when it got to his turn, he said, I'd take a GPS-enabled satellite phone. And we were like, What? And he said, so people could find me. And we're like, oh, yeah, that's a really good idea. And we're all thinking small. We're like, I got to find some way to get water. or I got to find some way to get food. Or I got to find some way to, you know, get out of the sun. But he's just thinking, I got to get off the island. You know, sometimes as Christians, we, we think small like that. You know, we just see the thing in front of us and we forget the big picture. You know, there might be some Christians who say that the most important thing for a Christian to have is wisdom. You know, you got to be smart, you got to make the right decisions, and you got you to gotta be able to know what's right and wrong and that sort of thing. And, and some people might say the most important thing for a Christian is to have faith. 
you know, to believe in God, to believe what's right. Some people might say that the most important thing for a Christian is to be generous, you know, and all these things are super, super important. And the list goes on and on and on of so many things that a Christian should be. But if you can only pick one thing to have as a Christian, choose love, big time. You know, faith and hope and all these things, they're super important, but love, love beats them all. You know, all the commandments in all the Bible, they can be summed up in two commandments, and that's love God and love people. And really, that's only just one commandment, love God, because the Bible says that if you love God, you'll also love people. But I see a lot of Christians forgetting about love. You know, we might talk about it in February when Valentine's Day comes around. Let's talk about love. But love should be a huge part of your everyday life. And these days, I see a lot of angry Christians. And, you know, the truth is there's a lot of things for us to be angry about. And sometimes we get so focused on that stuff that we forget to love God and love people. So my challenge to you guys today is this. It's love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. It's important to have wisdom. It's important to not do bad things. It's important to do the right things. It's important to, you know, read your Bible and go to church and pray and all that stuff. But if you're doing all that stuff without love, you're doing it wrong. So I hope that you and I will choose love. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And hey, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much, Douglas. That was a lovely talk, children. So basically what he's telling you is that you should always choose love. If you love someone, you want them to be happy. So you will do things that make them happy. If you love God, you want him to be happy with you. So you will do what the Bible says. If love governs everything you do, and that means if love is the reason you are doing everything you are doing, then you are listening to what God has told you to do. Okay? The Bible says in John 3, 16, that for God so loved the world that he gave his only, only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not die, but shall have everlasting life. God did it because of love. So when you do things because of love, you are behaving just like God. At Jubilee Church, we believe in loving God, loving people, and influencing our society with that love. I declare I am ambassador of Christ, the light of the world, a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. I declare I have an excellent spirit, and because I am taught of the Lord, I have knowledge and understanding of all kinds. In maths, science, literature, arts, and all learning, I make tremendous progress in my academics. I am 10 times better than my peers. I declare I am an express image of God, and I can do all things, things through Christ who gives me strength. Amen. It's been a wonderful session, children. Unfortunately, we have come to an exciting end of today's session. But don't worry, two weeks, we'll be back with another exciting episode with JC and Kids. Before we go, let's say a quick prayer. Father Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for teaching us about love this Valentine's Day, teaching us that love is the most important commandment that you've ever given us, and teaching us that if we can do things from a place of love, then we are listening to what the Bible says, and we are doing what you want us to do. Father, as we go into this week, we ask that you be with us. Help us with our schoolwork, help us with our relationships, with our siblings, our parents, our friends. Help us, oh Lord, to stay strong, to stay healthy, so that we can come back soon, happy, rejoicing, and praising your holy name. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. It's been a wonderful time with you this morning, but I've got to go. See you next time. Love from JCM Kids. Toodles.